Hi everyone, this is Maverick Paul, the Chemistry Guru. Now in this video, we want to run through the suggested solution for 2020 A-Levels History Chemistry Paper 1, Question 6. Now let's take a look at Question 6. The use of the data booklet is relevant to this question. The volumes and pressures of equal masses of four gases, N2, CH4, Cl2, and Ne, are separately investigated at constant temperature. So equal masses means that the number of mole will be different, right? Because apparently all these four different gases, their molar masses will be different. So I'll have different number of moles. Temperature is constant. Do keep this in mind. The results are plotted on a graph of PV against V. All four gases behave as ideal gases under the conditions chosen. So which plot shows the results for neon? Four different gases here. Now, the topic tested, obviously, for this question will be under uh, ideal gas. And let's take a look at the ideal gas equation. And first thing, we want to figure out the shape of this graph. Now, based on the ideal gas equation, PV equals to NRT, pressure times volume equals to the number of mole of the gas multiplied by the gas constant and temperature. So question mentions that temperature is a constant and the number of mole for each gas, if it is N2, if it is CH4, um, during the plot, when we change all this volume, the number of mole of gas will stay the same. So for each gas, N will be a constant. And if I consider PV equals to NRT, N is a constant. Gas constant, obviously, is a constant. T is a constant. So PV will be a constant. And therefore, when I consider the graph of PV against V, we would expect a horizontal graph, which is, of course, what the question is giving. We just want to clarify and we just want to explain that. So this is the reason why PV against V graph will be horizontal. And you notice uh, the y-intercept will be my constant term. And this constant term is actually number of mole multiplied by gas constant multiplied by temperature. We can actually determine this K. We can actually calculate it if I have all these values here. We have the temperature, we have the gas constant, and if I have the number of mole of gases, I know what is the y-intercept. Now, you notice, my four options here, A, B, C, D, the differences, of course, will be different K values and different NRT values. Now, R will be a constant amongst all these different gases, regardless of whether this is N2, CH4, Cl2, Ne, R will be the same. And temperature will also be constant because question mentioned that the temperature is constant for all these four gases. So the reason why we have all these different K values for all these different gases must be because of N. I have a different number of moles, which is what we want to uh, talk about. Now, you notice, uh, if I'm comparing all these different gases, N2, CH4, Cl2, Neon, if the mass is the same, then what this must mean is the number of moles is different, correct? And how do we uh, consider when there's a change in the molar mass? How does it affect the number of moles? And in turn, how does it affect the y-intercept, the k value? Now, you notice what we have is when there's a decrease in the MR, when the MR is smaller, then for the same mass, I know that mass divided by a smaller MR, you mean that the number of mole increases because the smaller the molar mass, then you mean that there'll be more moles of gas. And when N increases, NRT will also be bigger, which means that my K will also be larger. It will mean that if I consider all my four options, let me show you this graph here. If I have four of these graphs A, B, C, D, it will mean that the one which is higher up will have a bigger K because the N is larger and it will mean that the MR is smaller. Correct? So this A on top, it has the smallest MR, which means that it will have the biggest number of mole and therefore it has the largest NRT and it has the biggest K value. So A will correspond to the gas with the smallest molar mass. Now conversely, if I consider D, D must have the biggest molar mass because if it has the biggest molar mass, then it will mean that the number of mole is the smallest. Smallest number of mole means that my NRT will be the smallest and my K will also be the smallest. So D will correspond to the gas with the biggest molar mass. And once we have this comparison in place, then I can compare the molar mass for each 
of my gases, my N2, we can refer to the periodic table and we can work out the molar mass here. I'm just showing you the outcome. I think the calculation is straightforward enough. We can do that on our own, no problem. So N2 molar mass is 28.0, CH4 molar mass is 16.0, chlorine Cl2 molar mass is 71.0, neon gas the molar mass is 20.2. So based on this, I can rank them accordingly. Remember what we want is smallest MR will be A, biggest MR will be D. Correct? So which one should be A, the one with the smallest MR out of these four options, 28, 16, 71, 20.2, 20 16 should have the smallest MR. So CH4 should be A because if the MR it is smaller, it means that the number of mole for the same mass will be bigger and you will have a bigger NRT and so therefore K will be larger. So A should be CH4 because the MR it is the smallest. Then the next guy with the next uh, bigger MR will be neon, 20.2. So NE or neon should be B, then followed by nitrogen gas, N2. MR is 28.0, so N2 should be gas C. And finally, chlorine with the biggest molar mass, 71.0. This guy should be D because D is all the way at the bottom with the biggest MR which means that the number of moles should be the smallest and it should have the smallest NRT and the lowest or the smallest y-intercept K. So of course, if the question is asking us which of these gases A, B, C, D is neon, then neon has to be option B. Alright, so that was the discussion involving question 6. So if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. I'll see you next week.